Today in The Sims 4, we're going to be building a townhouse, but one side will be minimalist and the other side will be maximalist. When we think of maximalist decor, we think of bold prints, vibrant colors, patterns, and clutter, whereas minimalist decor emphasizes simplicity, keeping things clean, and having few items on display. I think it's really fun to do these like opposite themed builds. I've done a colors versus neutral build in the past, and it was really fun to just kind of see the differences side by side. And with the release of the new Sims 4 bathroom clutter, kit, I thought it would be a really fun way to integrate that into our build today. So we're going to be building here today in Brightchester and let's start off with building our shell. I'm going to start by just making a big rectangle here. We need to make sure we're going to fit two homes and they have enough room to be like existing together. <laughs> Maybe we can punch out an entryway right here. That's where we can put like the door. We could do another little one right here. This might be a patio or something and to keep it symmetrical, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Maybe something like that so far and then on the second floor, I'm just gonna take the same shell that I just made and bring that up top. I'm gonna go to the back too and match the bump outs here. Then on the sides, I'm just going in and adding some balconies just because when we go to decorate the exterior, then we can go and add like the minimalist and maximalist touches there too on the exterior. So our shell is looking something like this. We're gonna raise it up on a foundation and I added the flooring pieces at the front too. So you can see where we're gonna have like the entryways. I'm gonna add my stairs and then I think we can go in with wallpaper. And for our wallpaper, I'm kind of thinking about going darker today. Like I was thinking maybe like a blue. We could try and do this dark blue brick here from Discover University. Since we're building here in Brightchester, I feel like it makes sense to kind of lean into Discover University today. And for my roofing, I'm thinking of just going in and fencing it. So I'm basically going to be following along the entire roof here with this Discover University fence. We can maybe add some chimneys up here just so there's like something going on. I'll do a double chimney right there. And then for the top, I think we should pull it together up there with like a thick trim like that one. We're gonna bring that same fence down here for our patios and our entry areas and also for the balconies. I feel like this is gonna end up looking a lot fancier than I intended but I mean with like the buildings surrounding it at least it kind of fits in. All right so for foundation I'm thinking either these two from get together would probably work and then for windows I'm thinking I should probably keep it cohesive with like the same pack. So maybe for these bump outs here we can do this medium wall height window. I'll bring that around the side as well. And then wherever I add it in the front, I'm going to be doing the same thing in the back. Maybe for the second floor, we can go in with more of a smaller window. Perfect. Actually, why am I using those ones? These ones are so much more detailed and pretty. We're going to be putting those right in the middle here. And since they're from the same pack, I don't mind that we literally have three different variations of window here right now. For doors, let's maybe try these ones here in like a black and white swatch. So we'll just need two. We're only going to be doing two townhouses in this build and I was thinking of for this middle part adding a door and then creating like a little mail room or something where like your sims could go in and there's different mailboxes in there they can like grab their stuff and then they can like meet in there and fall in love. I've been reading way too many romance novels. I think I'd rather leave the room in there for the townhouses. There goes our hopes and dreams. All right we've got all our basics. I'm gonna start to add our details. We're gonna add things like columns. I think these from get together would work if I go in and add them. Maybe just just to like the front two bump outs. They're pretty thick. We can bring them up on the second floor as well, but I don't think I wanna keep those going around the whole house. So I'm thinking instead, maybe we can go in with this one and I'm just gonna add that on the outer corners where I didn't add the other ones. All right, so, so far with all the landscaping, this is what it looks like. I added a couple more details, like some window boxes up there. I added our patio furniture right in that little spot there. And the one thing that I'm trying to start to do is add our differences. So I think the left side here is going to be our maximalist side and the right side is going to be our minimalist side and I've tried to add like subtle differences here so far so right here in the front I added this bench here and we've got clutter on there I added a bunch of lanterns we've got some plants on there and the landscaping behind is like a lot more full there's more going on whereas over on this side I kept it very basic we've got that clean cut hedge in the background a couple rocks and the bench is completely clean Clear. Same thing at the front here. I've added some hanging plants. We've got a rug. I might even go in and add a little bit more. I just don't want to take away from like the actual entry area into the house. But I was even thinking we could add like one of these somewhere just like right beside that column. And then on this side, we've got nothing going on. For our mailboxes, I'm going to do probably just like a plain white one over here. And on the other side, we can add the one right there with like the face on it. I do still have to do the balconies. So I 
think over to the left for our maximalist. I'm trying to think of what kind of skill I want to give to our maximalist. I was thinking of doing like an artist. Then on the inside, we can make it really messy with lots of art everywhere. So we're going to find an easel. I'm going to put that right in the corner there. I want to do like the paint bucket clutter. We've got the tarp we can add with like the paint splatters. I also want to add a couple of the canvases. My favorite ones are from Eco Lifestyle. Like this collection here, I love. Maybe we can do that one there. And then I want to find the paint cans. And those are hiding in debug from City Living. So just a couple paint buckets over here. We could add like a chair out here. I also want to add some tables with even more clutter. Maybe these ones here from Eco Lifestyle, just because I know I'll be able to shrink them and put one underneath the other. We'll angle our easel that way. And then on here, we have more room to add clutter. And for me, I'm definitely going to be biased, same as like the color versus the neutrals that we did. I'm a clutter girl, so this is going to be really interesting when we get to the other side. I've been adding these wall sculptures here, basically just so that I can hang my plant from it, because if not, then your plant is obviously going to hang from nothing. This way, I can add a little extra something to that side there, and our maximalist balcony is complete. For the minimalist side, I need to figure out a skill that I want to put over there. I'm basically just thinking something that I can keep clean, doesn't require a lot of extra things, like I'm definitely not going to be putting the knitting basket or anything. What if we did it for a musician and we just put a keyboard right there, maybe like a small rug underneath and a plant. And that'll be our minimalist balcony. So that's going to be that for the exterior. And I do have a little bit of a floor plan already figured out. So let's go inside and let me show you what I did. So for the downstairs, again, left is going to be maximalist, right will be minimalist. We've got our stairs in the middle here. And then on each side, we have our bathrooms. And then upstairs, I'm kind of thinking about keeping this open, just like doing a full second floor bedroom up top. So let's start off on the maximalist side. As a reminder, this side is going to have more clutter, more detail, probably a little bit more color over here too, but I don't intend on just keeping like color versus neutrals again. So, okay, let's figure out some flooring. I'm going to start off using this one here from base game. And for my wallpaper, my first thought was to go for like a patterned wallpaper, but I do know that we're going to have a ton of things on the wall. And I don't want to take away from that with the wallpaper. This is weird, but I literally have like this rug in mind and I kind of want to match whatever I do to this rug. So if we go for like the blue and pink there, we could even go for like an orange or this could be like the front rug. That could be kind of interesting. Then over here, we could add this table here from Eco Lifestyle. I added a plant on top, but I want to find like the key clutter like this here. I want to put that right in front of the plant. So I'm just going to move the table. We have so much clutter now, but not enough like shelf space for it, you know? So to get that where I want it to be, I just have to move the table out of the way and do it manually. I'm going to add some more clutter over here. Basically, no table, shelf, or desk is going to go uncluttered today, at least in this side. I added a shelf there, a mirror right beside it, and then on the shelf, I'm just going to add some more front door things. Like we've got some change right there, some like mail maybe. We could add a water bottle. And underneath here, I'm going to add some shoes. So everything is going to be out at the front door. So we've got everything all lined up and already this is just the front door and we've got so much happening. I think before we do the living room, I want to make sure we've got enough room for our kitchen. So that's going to be over in this corner, I think. I have this awkward like space right here, which I'm probably going to end up putting my fridge in there or we can save that for the minimalist side. So the fridge is going to be like kind of hidden, but in there for this one, we can make a pantry. But okay, first of all, let's get our fridge. Again, going off that rug, my color palette is basically that right there. Maybe we should do an orange fridge too. Today. Counters, I'm going to use those ones there from Dream Home Decorator. And do we have an orange oven? We could just do that one there from Snowy Escape. My trash can can go over here right beside the fridge. And yeah, this is actually going to work out pretty nicely because I don't have a whole lot of room for clutter on there. But maybe we can put another counter in here. And then on top of there, I'll put a whole bunch of shelving. Now in here, we've got a bunch of room for clutter. I can add some like teas, maybe some book clutter like cookbooks over here. This is one of the new items from the bathroom kit. And I've seen this going around on Twitter. It's under the lighting category with like the rest of the candles here, except it doesn't have a flame. Like when I put it there, it seems like it should. And even when you go in live mode, it just doesn't show up. I don't know if that's a bug or if they wanted it to just not be lit, but then why would it be giving off the light? Anyway, rant over about the candle. I'm going to put it because I think it's cute, but I wonder if they're going to change that. Anyway, this is our cluttered pantry area. And we also got light switches, which I just talked about in my CC only build video. So we got to use that 
that too, right? I'm gonna put one there. Oh, it looks so cool, actually. The little things we get excited about as simmers. <laughs> I'm also using this trick here where we use the curtain mouse and only put one curtain there so the lighting still comes through the window. But I'm also gonna double that up as an extra shelf here. So I'm just gonna move my counters out of the way for now so that I can still raise things up and put things up there. Okay, so for now, right now we've got our pantry complete over to the right there. Up here on our curtain mount, I finished putting all our clutter up there as well. I still feel like we need more though and I'm still not 100% sold on the wallpaper that I'm using. Like we could maybe even use that checkered base game one right there. I'm gonna keep playing with it. I am gonna add some more shelving going this way above our fridge and I'm gonna clutter that up again but I do wanna figure out my dining space. I was thinking about putting a table right here in the middle. 15 minutes later. So I've made a few changes. I changed the wallpaper like I was saying. I was kind of not vibing with the blue and the pink. We're going now with this green, orange, and blue, which I really didn't have to change much to match that color scheme already. We already had like the same counters, the same fridge, clutter. I did clutter up the shelving that I put right there with more like yellow tone things. I added the uh, craft box right there because we can't forget that we're going to be an artist in this house. On the dining table, I just added this cute pastel pop kit candle. We have some clutter right there. And then of course our pantry didn't change either. So basically everything is the same. I added those plants right there, but I did get rid of our <laughs> rug that I was basically basing the entire house off of. So now we need to find a replacement there. We've got like the cracker rugs underneath there. So I can't add more of that. I was thinking about maybe just doing like a basic yellow rug right there maybe. And then we'll be able to add another one over here in the living room. And I do have this area behind the stairs here, which I think I'm gonna turn that into like a creativity area. But first, let's find a couch. I'm gonna set my color filter here to orange, yellow, and green. <laughs> and of course, for our maximalist, I feel like we should have like pillow clutter on here. We can maybe do this one here. We've got the pattern on there. I changed my table by the door here. I'm putting these coffee tables here from Tiny Living. And I'm gonna be using this TV here from Eco Lifestyle Debug. I think on this side, I wanna do maybe a gallery wall, but I wanna fill it up with things that it looks like we've painted. This might be a very weird decision, but I think I'm doing it. I think we're gonna add the graffiti here from Get Together. I'm trying to put it right above where that like curve goes up. So it's not taking away from that. There's already a lot going on there. So I'm not gonna touch anything else. But on this side, I might add a shelf here and just add some more book clutter on top of that. Maybe we'll add some paintings up above there, some drawings that they're working on. And I think for our living area, I'm gonna leave it like that. Before we go into the bathroom, I am gonna figure out what we're gonna do here. So I still think we should add an easel. We should do like one right in the corner there. Our eco lifestyle paintings that we used outside are gonna look so cute right here with some of the green swatches. We're gonna put more canvases here like underneath the stairs. We can put this there in the corner. I'm using this old looking rug here from Journey to Batu. I'm putting that right in the corner. I like that it looks like tattered and old. It's perfect for like putting it underneath the easel and not caring if they like spilled anything on it. Not like that's happening in The Sims anyway, but at least it's there. And maybe for a little statement piece <laughs> to go with our crazy graffiti, we can add that there. Okay, so so far this is our maximalist side. I love the color scheme in here. I think it was definitely a good call changing it over, especially on this side with like that lighting coming through. It just looks so warm and inviting even though <laughs> there's like so much happening. And I can literally just keep like adding more. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. We know I can get carried away here. Let's go and do the bathroom. We'll check out the new bathroom clutter kit. We'll get our flooring. I'm gonna try and keep the same like green, orange, and yellow throughout this. We could do that flooring there. That's from high school years. I've got this like wood wallpaper right now, but I'm thinking about maybe doing an orange. And okay, we're gonna get our essentials and then we'll clutter it all up. So we'll do a toilet there with our sink. Then on the other side, I'm thinking about doing a bathtub. Oh, I can't forget our little light switch. It'd be cool if those were functional. Okay, anyway, let's figure out what we're gonna add here. I chose this sink because I know we're gonna have a little bit of room here and we can always go in and add more shelving for more items to fit in here too. All right, so one thing I was very excited for was new toilet paper. We've had the same toilet paper roll in The Sims 4 for years and we finally have a different one. There's a bunch of different swatches in here, different ways for your toilet paper to go. I already love these. I feel like they're gonna be very functional in different ways. It's supposed to be like a salt bath fragrance jar, but honestly, I feel like you could put that anywhere. I put them in my kitchen. You can't really tell what it is in there. We've also got this one here, more of like a tray look with a comb and some like lotions there, some towel and soap clutter. We've got 
a toilet plunger. I'm gonna put one of those. Just gonna squeeze that in beside there. We've got some lotions. We've got these, which I like. I love adding like fragrance clutter. <laughs> I just wish we were able to clip more things onto sink shelves. Like I wish the soap would just kind of go here, but we've got soap clutter. Some really cute swatches on there too. Like there's a little cat right there. The unicorn. There's like some characters on here for kid clutter. I was also stoked when I saw these like new towel racks here too. We've got a couple different options. Toothbrushes. I will say a lot of the things are very, very small. Like this cup here with the dentures in it. It's been rumored that we're getting this in four generations as like a new expansion pack coming. So the dentures I think are meant for like later when we add on to more elders, I guess, getting more elder things. But just, I don't know, some of this stuff seems very debug-y. We did also get these that like go around your toilet. It doesn't really fit though. Oh no. That's okay. I'm just gonna put one right there just for the sake of having it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do instead of using that one? I'm gonna use this one here and we can use that over here near the bathtub. I also like this here with the loofah. We've got the towels over there too. I mean, it is adding to my bathrooms. I will say that, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we like the bathroom clutter stuff? Something about this kit just feels a little bit off to me. Even just looking at this texture right here with the hair elastics and the clips, they're kind of just like two dimensional on there, if you know what I mean. Let me know what you guys think about it either way. And there's gonna be more items that I'll show you when we do the minimalist one, but that is gonna be our bathroom for the maximalist side. The only thing we have left to do is the bedroom upstairs. So I'm gonna go up there, bring the same flooring up that we already used. I'm gonna replace my lighting up here too so we get that like warm lighting. For those, by the way, I was using Get Famous for both the above and the wall lights. And for my wallpaper, I don't know yet. Maybe we could go with like a yellow up here. I might leave it just like we did downstairs and wait to see what we're gonna do. So let's go and figure out a bed. The one I was thinking about using was this one here. It has all the colors that I was thinking of and it's bold enough to work in our maximalist house. Should we keep with the same wallpaper upstairs? I don't know yet. I'm kind of liking how it looks. I love how like planty it's becoming over here too. I think since I have room over here, I want to do a desk area. I haven't made any of those yet in here. And I was thinking about the one from Paranormal. This one here in yellow, I want to maybe put that honestly on a diagonal could be cute. We can use the heart chair there. We've got some patterns on here we could choose from. Or that one there looks nice. It matches the blue color here. We can use this tablet here. And obviously we have to add our clutter onto the desk. I wanted to add some more of the craft things like this craft box I could put right there. Maybe over here we could add a yellow chair from Nifty Knitting with that blue like awkward shaped rug right there from Eco Lifestyle. I've got room for a table here. This is really pushing my clutter ability. It's gonna be really weird to completely like switch gears and do the opposite after this. I'm gonna put the jungle adventure mirror right there in that corner. Maybe with the big dresser right beside it from high school years. I'm adding a chair here so that if they want to get ready in front of the mirror they can do that. And then I think over here in that corner I'm gonna put those there from Dream Home Decorator. Or actually a record player could be really cute. Maybe we'll do record player there. Some more stuff over here. And then in this corner maybe I could just do like another chair or something. So we've got this area over here with all our clutter. I added a couple posters over on the wall there. And then over to the right near the stairs I'm adding more of like the canvas artist clutter. This stuff isn't functional anyway so it's fine that it's kind of like just shoved back there. I think our maximalist would try and find any room to put their stuff anyway. And this is what our maximalist bedroom ended up turning out like. We've got our desk area over here, the mirror and dresser area, and then over to the side we have our bed with our record player, and we have our cluttered messy artist <laughs> section of the stairs. So we're ready to move on from here over to the minimalist side of things. We're gonna completely switch gears, and over here we're gonna be thinking just simplicity. It's gonna be clean. I want to do like just very basic wallpaper. I saw someone make a comparison saying that minimalist focuses more on the architecture whereas maximalist focuses more on the decor and the furniture. So let's start off with our entry area like we did last time. I'm coming onto the gallery here to my favorite gallery page for art, holy schmo wow, and I'm gonna download a couple different options here for statement pieces. The reason being even though we're going minimalist I do want to have a statement piece and the logic here behind the minimalist house for that is like instead of buying a whole bunch of different things that you like, putting them on display like in the maximalist house, the minimalist house has few pieces they really like that they want on display, but that's it. We'll do maybe a plant over here in that corner, but I'm not gonna add anything 
everything on there. That's going to be our entry area. I've added our curtains over here. I'm still going to be adding a little bit of color in here. Minimalist doesn't mean that it has to be like neutral or black and white, just as long as we aren't going too bold, too vibrant like in the other one. So again, over here, this is our seating area. We've got our end table from the Desert Lux kit. Maybe I'll put a little mirror over there in that corner, but again, keeping it very clean. And we can't forget about our skill item that we had on the balcony. So I do want to put a guitar somewhere. Maybe we could take out a couple of them. We could even do the violin, but instead of just leaving them there like that, I'm going to use these pedestals here from Get Famous or even these ones here from Moschino since they're a little bit smaller. And we'll raise these up and put them on display like that. I added some pictures in there just to go in between. And I think I'm going to start working on maybe the kitchen. We'll spin around this way. And like I said earlier, I wanted to put my fridge just tucked away in this little corner. So we're going to put that there. I was thinking about using these counters here just because the wood matches from that table right there. But I could also use those ones there. I think we're going to use Jungle Adventure today. So we'll put those along there. And I was kind of thinking about bringing it along outwards. Is that weird like that? And then we've got our table right here with my chairs. Underneath there, I could do just this basic fluffy rug from the industrial loft kit. I'm tempted to also put some cabinets up here. I need my smoke detector and our trash can. I think I'm probably just going to use this silver one like right there. Actually, we could even hide it underneath the stairs so it's not as visible. I'm already thinking I should just like hands off with this, but I'm going to delete this light here. I think instead of any more decor, I'm going to start to add lighting. So I replace my ceiling lights with these ones here from Tiny Living. I'm going to add a light there above the sink. And I feel like I could fit maybe a lamp over in this corner and then I need to, I need to hands off here. Okay, so this is our minimalist townhouse side. We've got the living room. We have the dining room, kitchen, a little bit of a music area over there. Nothing too crazy happening. Our kitchen and dining over to this side here and we are ready to work on the bathroom. So moving in here again, we're going to keep it very clean. Maybe for this one, we can actually do the wood that we were going to do in the other one. And for my flooring, I think I'm just going to do a spot a white. For my sink, I'm going to do this one. Very minimalistic. Toilet, we can probably do like that one there from Tiny Living. Our new toilet paper. Let's compare. Yeah, that one is definitely more like modern looking for a toilet paper holder. Oh, my light switches. I forgot. I'm going to forget about these every time, aren't I? For my mirror, I'm thinking we do something like this from Tiny Living. Just very simple, like minimalistic design like that. And for my towels, I did actually notice that there's a, a clean version of these. Wait, is that see-through? That towel should not be see-through. This is what I mean with the bathroom kit. <laughs> you guys are seeing that, right? Like this is not touching, but through that, you can see the shadow of my sink. It looks transparent. Is it just that swatch? No, you can kind of see it regardless. That is not a fan of that. For my bathtub, I'm using this one here from Spa Day. Maybe I'll use one of those bath mats there. Ooh, actually, I didn't notice these, but these are new lights. There are different swatches in here. We've got those ones with like the design on there, but then we have these more minimal ones. Okay, I actually really like this lighting. They're not very bright, but that's okay. I'm gonna put them right beside that mirror there. We've got a hand towel there, and honestly, I think this is gonna be it. So very basic for our bathroom. Not a whole lot going on in here. We've got our towels, just minimal clutter. And let's go upstairs and do the bedroom. I'm gonna bring the same flooring that I used down there, maybe even the same wallpaper. So up here for the bedroom, I'm gonna use the same flooring and wallpaper just like we did in the maximalist house. And for my bed, I'm thinking we go with one of these ones here from Dream Home Decorator. Underneath there, I think I'm gonna do a simple rug like this. I'll just size it up and put it like right underneath here. And then I'm thinking since we're gonna go minimal furniture, we should probably use like bigger items up here. I really like this dresser here from high school years. So I'm gonna use that, but we're also gonna use the matching one over on this side. So like that, they're already taking up a lot of space and only like three items here. We could do like a clock on the wall there. I'm not going to put any clutter on that dresser. I might put one plant over in this corner there like that. And actually now that I know about these lights and that they don't give off a whole lot of light, I'm going to put them right beside that door there. I really want to put a piano over here. <laughs> I do like it there. Like I feel like it looks cool. And instead of putting a computer desk there, maybe we're going to put the piano. That's what they study in school. I don't know. And then I'm thinking the rest of the decor that we put in here is just going to be curtains. Add some curtains over to that side and we have our minimalist bedroom. I like it. I feel like I might have added too much in here. I'm not really sure, but this is what our minimalist bedroom turned out like. Let me know which one you guys liked in the comment section down below. I'm definitely a team maximalist. I love the clutter. I love the busyness of having a lot of things going on. <laughs> you can really tell the difference here too, like comparing them side by side. Let me know which style you guys prefer in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you guys.
guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.